Hello, my name is Lana Martinez, and I'm here today to thank Family Spurs for helping me get through a very difficult time in my life. I don't know where it would be without them. They believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. A few years ago, I found myself in a horrible situation in which domestic violence was involved. Here I was with two children, 16 and 13 at the time, and five and a half months pregnant. Not to mention we were on the verge of losing our home. So now at this point, my children and I had to move in with my mom temporarily. I had no idea what to do with them. It was a very, very low point in my life. Just to face the fear of losing your children because you didn't have a place for them to be. When I did find a few uh, agencies that offered help, I didn't qualify because I was working. Um, funny to say that, but I was still working and I couldn't make it. And then I realized I didn't have to do it by myself. Healthy mothers, healthy babies, directed me to families first and then everything started to change. Through their Healthy Families program, they helped me sort through what was keeping me from succeeding. With their help, my family got into a townhouse I could afford. They guided me through my pregnancy and the birth of my amazing son, Caden. And they helped with all the stresses that a single mother, working mother, faces. Even after having Caden, I was faced with another situation. Devastating. I lost my job, and believe it or not, I immediately called Gloria Flor. The very next day, after speaking with them and making calls and reaching out to where I knew, I had a job the next day. Um, all because of their belief they had in me, with their encouragement, I moved past this roadblock, and I continue to do so with a newfound confidence I found in myself. Even though I have an associate's degree in early childhood education and work at a child care center, I still learn a lot from fam from Healthy Families program. It wasn't easy becoming a new mom again. It's a life-changing experience. <clears throat> And I learned a lot about how to handle stress and how to be the best mom that I can be for my children. Even though I'm working two jobs, I'm learning through them how to balance work and family. At first, I'd fall apart regularly. But then I would turn to Gloria and Floyd at Families First, and I've learned new coping skills. I was asked what happened to me and my family without families first? And the answer is, I don't think I could have survived without them. I needed help for that moment to get on my feet. They helped me do that. But the most important thing, they gave me the confidence and courage. Now I can do more. The way to explain it is, it's like walking up a staircase, being afraid. You don't know what's going to happen that next step. But then you get to that step, and you realize the next step's there, and you just keep going. Or as my son would say, it's like playing a video game. You want to reach the next level. You want to end the game. And either you do it, or you turn the game off. Me, I choose to keep playing the game. I keep choosing to climb the staircase because anything that is that will benefit my family is worth fighting for. So I'd like to thank Families First for helping me find the confidence and courage and for believing in me, for recognizing and helping me find and use my own strengths when I didn't believe I had any. I know that because of them, my family is together and happy. I have goals for my future and for theirs. I'm no, I'm no longer afraid to climb every step 
on that stairway, even though there may be some roadblocks along the way. Thank you. I'm probably not the most um, regular client that families first would have. 21 years ago, my husband and I have a still have a very successful electrical business, and um, we were actually looking at retiring at the age of 50, and uh, then things changed. And 21 years ago, on September 4th, my son um, and his wife, actually his wife, gave birth to fraternal twins. One my namesake, Michelle, the one in the white dress, and one who looks much like me, Gabriella, in the wheelchair. Both were born fine and everything was good and I'm a proud grandma for the first time. And then 79 days later, November the 21st, I get a phone call. Get to good Sam right now. One of the twins is sick. They may, may not live through the night. So I grab my mom, Italian mom. <laughs> I said, we gotta get over there, mom. So we get over there and I get told that one of the babies was shaken and probably would make it through the night. Wow, what do you do? Talk to mom. <laughs> Realize my son, in a moment of frustration, two babies crying, he shook Gabby, severely. I was told she won't make it. That was a Monday. Wednesday, I'm told to go to custody court. They wanted to, were gonna remove the children. But that night, that Monday night, three o'clock in the morning, I show up with mom close to my heels and my husband in bed wanting to know what the hell's going on, excuse me. <laughs> DCF right behind my mom, and we're bringing, I'm bringing home little Michelle. And I'm like, I said to my husband, just shut up, don't say a word. <laughs> and uh, we got, they were, we were awarded custody that Wednesday, and, and Thanksgiving was the next day, and we were like, gosh. And, um, a couple weeks later, well, actually about a month later, Gabriella came home from the hospital. And I'm sitting there and I got, now I'm 44 and I got two babies that I don't know what to do with. One's crying, one's crying. And Joan, where are you? Miss Joan? Get up, girlfriend. <laughs> Joan calls and says, uh, I'm from Families First and I'm assigned to your case. And, and I'm like, what is a caseworker? What is all, I have no idea. But yet, take me to an electrical construction meeting. I could build a, a building in, in, in any time. I'm a certified master electrician, first one in the state of Florida as a woman. But ask me what a case manager is, I have no idea. And, and Joan came in and walked in the door and life changed like that. I remember for almost three months just being in my uh, nightgown and a robe and only to go to the doctor appointment like every other day. And Joan walked in and first families changed our life. And so for first families, what they changed was Gabby is now, and Michelle are now 21. That's Michelle's graduation picture from St. Andrews High School in Boca with honors. She was a graduate, or she goes to FSU, <laughs> go Knowles, okay? And, but actually, last summer, or a year ago summer, she decided, Mom, I wanna do something more than, I think she was gonna be a nutrition, and she went to South Africa and worked in an orphanage, and then worked in a wildlife conservation um, place in South Africa, and she decided she wants to work with animals. So I moved her to Colorado to one of the best vet schools, and, um, um, that's what families first does. They change lives. For the unlikely family. God bless you. Thank you.